A bill that some fear would lead to the elimination of some home phone service is likely to see more committee action this week in the state Senate. According to the sponsor of the bill and chairman of the committee overseeing it, nobody's going to be left without the ability to call 911. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Albans here with what he's found out. This bill might have seemed simple, but it's stirring up some controversy. Senator Mike Knopf from Battle Creek says he'll make sure the phone service is protected for seniors and others who currently use so-called landlines. Now, the number of people who use the traditional phone service has dropped significantly over the past few years, according to Knopf's, even though many people still have a home phone, increasingly that service is delivered through their cable company, not through conventional means. Knopf says he wants to make it possible for companies to utilize new technologies as well as ensure that everyone has phone service for emergencies and more. If a company wants to discontinue service, but they're the only game in town, they'll be compelled to continue with that service, at least according to the senator. If we find out that they're the only one in that area that can complete that phone call, under my bill that we're presently writing, probably going to take up tomorrow, says that no, you're going to have to still be able to do that. You can't do anything for three years, but even after the three years, if you, you've got to have a reliable system out there so people can call 911. AARP has been critical of the bill, saying seniors could be disproportionately impacted. They have opposed the bill in its current form, issuing a number of releases and calls to action. In one, the advocacy group says, in part, quote, we're fighting to ensure for our members and all Michigan families have reliable, affordable phone service they can count on, especially during extreme weather or other emergencies. Bill 636 puts reliable phone service at risk for all Michigan consumer, uh, consumers, according to the group. Now, Knopf says he understands and appreciates their concerns. He says his bill will ultimately mandate that consumers do have protections. Senate Bill 636 could see committee action later this week with the possibility of full action before the end of the year. It seems likely, however, it would be sometime in 2014 before the House would take it up. We don't know what they would do. But one thing Knopf emphasizes, and we said it a minute ago, it would be three years before this kicks in and there are some conditions from the FCC, the federal overriding agency, that may mandate some of these services be turned over to the more, uh, the newer technology I should say, instead of the more conventional technology by then. So this may all kind of work itself out, but yeah. right now people are still concerned. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rick. Thanks.